Hey, hey, this is JJ with my bring back going over some of the basics of WordPress as you guys have seen in my previous videos We had kind of an overview of WordPress Then we went into you know themes how to modify and install those and now we're gonna go over the pages and posts and widgets all in this video so Keep up. We're gonna be moving a little bit quick, but uh, I'm sure you guys will follow all right, so what I want to do is I showed you the back end of WordPress and then a little bit of the front end. I want to kind of go over the components that make up the front end, what the end user sees, and then we'll go to the back end and we'll kind of dibble daddle on how to actually uh, modify those and go through and uh, change them. So here we are from where we left off. We uh, we looked at the Twitter button, some different theme stuffs, you know, uh, implementing it, but want to go over the actual components here with you up here this little bar up here typically called like a top bar navigation or top bar um, menu um, type up here this is gonna be you know typically where they put searches the RSS feeds Facebook Twitter etc so usually you can find those within the themes um, within the themes um, options and those you can typically switch out otherwise we'll get into more advanced how to switch those out for stuff that you actually want or you want to add or more, uh, put something in there so that's going to be uh, further lessons down the road um, just below we've got what they call a header and typically they the theme comes with a you know a solid header image or it's got some other blank header or you can upload a, a header image of your of your own and that again would be in the theme um, options that you can change out this right here is going to be our site title with a uh, tag along below and those are modifiable so it doesn't have to say my blog that's just tip, that's just the name that pops up right uh, as the defaults are set up so we can change that and I'll show you how to do that later um, below that we've got our menu and this can be modified we can have a custom menu we can have a menu that just shows our pages etc um, and then below that um, this right here is going to be a slider um, so this particular theme it comes with a slider it looks like it slides through the recent post or the top three posts etc um, but this is within what they call the content area of column one and what I mean by column one is you can see how the website this section here is one column or the content area and then over here we've got another another column um, so we've got a content area column one they call it on some themes or they just call it a, a the main the main area plus one column on the right um, they name it several different ways so take a look at what your theme says this one right here we've got uh, the main area with one column on the right and uh, so then over here we've got our content uh, again the slider and then below that it looks like our blog posts come through and that's where the contents actually showed so our blog roll there and then uh, off to the right in our uh, column off to the right we've got uh, two widgets it looks like that are default for this particular theme we've got the archives which this again is as you post you know as uh, as June comes and you post you'll have a June 2011 archive July etc and that'll keep all your previous posts within that um, here's another widget that goes through the, the meta of the site and that's going to be your general, you know, how to get uh, post RSS, comments RSS, you know, your site admin and all that. Um, the only other thing on this site or this particular theme that they've got is what they call footer. And this footer is going to be on every page, goes through the Creative Commons license, uh, just it uh, references where you got the theme and whatnot. So those can be modified and also uh, if you purchase the themes, you can take out um, the Creative Commons themes and uh, who actually designed it so but since we're using the free version you know they're gonna they're gonna put their name on it for you alright so let's uh, let's flip over to the back side now that you kinda know the general format um, and the components of, of the end users side let's go over to the back end and I'm gonna show you first the pages and we're actually gonna create a page and then we'll look at uh, how to modify the actual page um, itself so under pages we're gonna go ahead and click add new and that's gonna bring up a similar menu to adding a new post and you'll see about that later but just keep that in mind so we're gonna put an about us page in here and uh, we can write a little something about it here my bring back is about sharing with you all right
sides and then over to the right um, if this was a parent of uh, if this was a you know a, a subcategory of another page you could go ahead and put it under there so we could be a sub parent of uh, about of the sample page etc and then uh, right over here this is where you'll see what I mean about the layout of the actual page that you're developing and if you click there you can see we've got one column no sidebar so that would basically be the contents filling the whole page with no sidebar on the right um, so then you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to put widgets in um, let's see here two columns with the sidebar on the right that is actually the page that I just showed you so the the first column is the the content the main area and then off to the right we have that smaller menu the sidebar on the right um, so we could have a page that mirrors the first the home page this particular one I don't want any sidebars because about us you know what are we gonna reference on there so I'm gonna put uh, one column no sidebar just to show you guys um, we can go down we can set a featured image for this page it looks like they've got some other other images we can put a slider image in here um, and uh, have that slider on the page as well and uh, so now let's go ahead and publish that page now that we've got it uh, somewhat developed and we'll go on the front end and take a look at what we've created now typically they should automatically come up on our menu which it does if they don't we can go into the appearance and go to menus and check to see why what, what our menus are set up with what they aren't set up with um, in this case it's automatically all the pages appear at the top menu so let's go to about us and let's take a look okay so we've we've created this one column about us page and it gives people the opportunity to come look at a come look see what we're about as you can see it takes up the whole screen so we don't have a sidebar cutting us off and uh, gives people the ability to leave a reply a message comment on the about us so that's how to actually add pages we can go in there and uh, we can change this from one column to again the sidebar on the left two columns so let's do a flip the reverse view of um, the front page there so as you update you'll see the default archives comes up and then the metadata on there and then again we've got our content here so you can kinda of see how you can how you can mess with the different uh, theme setups that they have the different page layouts that they have and um, and go through that alright the second thing I wanted to show you guys were uh, were the widgets um, the widgets are what they put on the sidebars or on your universal sidebars um, in this case we've got a couple different widget areas that we can put widgets in so sidebar widget area is is gonna be as we flip over to this page is gonna be this this right over here or on the home pages case this sidebar here so if you only have one sidebar on the on the page that's gonna be your primary and so this is gonna be your sidebar widget area so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna throw a calendar in there and this calendar here is actually gonna wipe out the default the default widgets that are in place for the uh, for the setup there and then we're gonna throw in let's throw a search bar below that let me save that real quick and we're having some troubles okay there we go we can, we can arrange them the way we would like search bar click Save on there and so now we've got two widgets on top of each other we've got the calendar followed by the search bar let's go see how that affects our web page now so if we clicked about us it wiped out the defaults that were in there the archives and now we have a calendar and we have a search bar that is automatically on every page that has one bar one sidebar so right here again we've got the calendar and the search bar on the front page now flip back and we've got this we've got this sidebar two widget area and the sidebar two widget area is gonna be if you have two sidebars on one page and uh, what I mean by that right now we don't have any setup so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to pages click into there and we're gonna change the sample page to what they call a three column so basically we've got the content in the middle and then we've got the sidebars on the left and right or we got the two sidebars on the left or two sidebars on the right 
So let's go ahead and go uh, sidebars left and right. We're going to update that. We're going to go back to the widgets. And so on the on one of the sidebars, we're going to have the calendar and the search bar. On the other side, we are actually going to throw up the pages of our website. So we just want to quick briefly show the pages. Maybe if we had some categories set up, we'd show the categories of our blog. Um, or Graphene Twitter setup, you can show the Twitter status updates, etc. So we're going to save that. And then we're going to go to our sample page, load it. And as you can see, we've got two sidebars with a, the center column area of our content. We've got the calendar search bar followed by the pages widget on the, the other side. So that kind of gives you an idea of how the widgets work where do they go on the website um, what you can put in there and the widgets are they're endless as the more and more you get used to uh, putting in plugins which we'll go over in the next tutorials um, the plugins will come with certain widgets that you can put in let's say you put a shopping cart on your on your WordPress site the uh, some of the widgets that would come with maybe an e-commerce plugin would be maybe the categories of the products or maybe a shopping cart um, as a widget as well um, so you can check out through the shopping cart etc alright so I was gonna go over post with you in this tutorial but I'm gonna save that for the next tutorial because it's a little bit more in depth than we have time for in this tutorial so what we went over we went over uh, how to add new pages kind of the format of those pages uh, with sidebars and and what those mean within pages and then also we went through widgets and how to add them to your sidebars so then they actually show up on your pages and uh, your website. All right, so stay tuned for the next tutorials on uh, the post. Then we'll get into some of the plugins and uh, some of the advanced um, WordPress stuff. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for the future videos so you can keep in touch. And we'll go from there. <laughs>